Kenny Bayless is the cream of the crop when it comes to boxing referees, and his resume of 40-plus years in the game and thousands of fights officiated, including more than 100 title fights, is a testament to his reliability as the third man in the ring. But that doesn't mean he is immune to criticism. Some boxing aficionados think he was criminally biased towards a GOAT in particular. With Bayless recently retiring, there isn't a better time to look back at his career than now. So let's dive right into it, because what I say, you must obey. This catchphrase that I just uttered was popularized by none other than the man himself, Kenny Bayless, who was born and raised in California where he was happily living life as a school teacher when fate brought him to Las Vegas, the fight capital of the world. In Sin City, Bayless befriended a boxing inspector for the Nevada State Athletic Commission named Johnny Lehman, who allowed Bayless VIP access to fights. As years passed, Bayless attended more and more boxing events, where instead of just focusing on the fights, he would actually score them and then compare his analysis with that of professional judges. One of the judges was so impressed with Bayless's knowledge of the sweet science that he advised them to try refereeing, because had Kenny opted to be a judge, many would have run out of business. Nevertheless, that was the beginning of his story. In 1981, Kenny officiated his first amateur boxing match and for the next eight years, he continued to learn and grow under the Golden Gloves banner. Kenny's big break came in 1991 when he was appointed as a professional referee, and just three years later, he officiated the first of his many title fights. Fast forward 30 years, Kenny's numbers are outrageous. He has officiated thousands of professional boxing matches with more than 100 title fights, including the razor close and a wee bit controversial super welterweight title fight between Oscar De La Hoya and Floyd Mayweather. But we'll come back to that later. First, let's understand Bayless's style of refereeing, which was quite unorthodox compared to many officials. Kenny let fighters bend the rules a bit, but not break them completely. He allowed some pushing and subtle wrestling, using body weight and balance. But if you pushed it too far, he'd call you on it. Bayless was fair and unbiased, and despite a few hiccups, he was a competent referee who had nerves of steel in tough situations where he stood out for his decision-making on when to stop fights. He never drew the attention of fighters either, like Joe Cortez and Rafael Ramos. Bayless was known for his professionalism as he prioritized fairness and safety allowing fighters to take the spotlight while flying under the radar and keeping the fight under his control. One of the best things about Bayless was that he made decisions based on his knowledge and reading of the situation and he didn't let external influences distract him. In his own words, In all of my many years, I've never been influenced by camps. What I plan to do is Call it the way that I see it. If a fighter is in violation of something and it's not right, or if a fighter commits a foul, I'm going to do what I normally do. As a result, Bayless's decision-making was top-notch for years, and that's why he was called upon to officiate major showdowns, particularly in Las Vegas, where the primary reason why he was preferred over others was because of his availability. Being a local, Bayless was ready to put on a show whenever the boxing commissions requested his services, so he had more chances to officiate fights than others. But the more you work, the higher the chances of error. Bayless is one of the greatest boxing referees in history and a true Hall of Famer. But unfortunately, he's human at the end of the day and he made a few errors that have allowed his critics to blow things out of proportion to try and tarnish his legacy. The veteran referee was long criticized for favoring technical boxers over sluggers, 
and many accused him of being biased in favor of the undefeated and undisputed GOAT of boxing, Floyd Mayweather, whose second fight with Marcos Maidana caused quite a lot of stir. The fight was officiated by Kenny Bayless, and many boxing fans thought the ref heavily favored the American by separating the two every time Maidana fought Floyd in the clinch or pressed him against the ropes, sometimes even before the action unfolded. As a result, Maidana couldn't fight on the inside as he did in their closer-than-expected first fight, and Mayweather secured a comfortable victory. In contrast, when Bayless officiated Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao, he wasn't as quick to break the clinch since the Filipino legend, according to many of Bayless's critics, isn't an inside fighter like Marcos Maidana, so he didn't pose any threat in that department. Kenny's naysayers smelled foul play once again. But these weren't the only instances that put the veteran referee under the microscope. Bayless had been accused of favoring Mayweather years before the Maidana rematch, with many claiming that he helped Floyd make his way out of tough positions. Bayless's reputation as the alleged right-hand man of Mayweather had Oscar De La Hoya raising concerns when he found out the veteran referee was going to officiate his title defense against Money in 2007. Despite De La Hoya's concerns, Bayless did an excellent job in that fight, and even the champion's coach, Freddie Roach, was pleased to have the veteran referee as the third man in the ring for what was the biggest money fight in boxing at the time. De La Hoya wasn't the only fighter who raised concerns over the alleged ties of sorts between Floyd and Bayless. In 2017, Conor McGregor's camp threatened to object if Bayless was assigned to referee their blockbuster contest. McGregor's reservations were perhaps less related to Bayless's notoriety and more of a response to the comments the ref had made about the fight between the boxing goat and the biggest MMA star in the world. Here's what Kenny said, and I quote, I wouldn't want to see it, because it's two different sports. UFC President Dana White, in particular, was mad and naturally Robert Byrd was chosen over Bayless. But that doesn't make Bayless any less of a referee. Whether you're a referee or a fighter, you can't stay away from the spotlight and criticism no matter how good you are, and that's the problem faced by Kenny Bayless and the top referees in the world of combat sports. The margins of errors, especially for a referee, are few and far between and the fact that Bayless made a handful of mistakes in a career spanning over 40 years and thousands of boxing fights. He deserves all the respect in the world for holding himself with grace and professionalism inside the ring. And that is the reason why he was inducted into the National Boxing Hall of Fame in 2023. Where do you rank Kenny Bayless among the greatest boxing referees of all time? Share your thoughts, predictions, and opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and ring that notification bell to stay in the loop on all things combat sports. Stay tuned, fight fans!